Hi, I'm Mark Page, founder of Jet Zero. Our industry is the aviation industry. It's one of the fastest growing in the world, but it's also one of the fastest growing sources of greenhouse gas emissions. We have to do something, we have to change. The automotive industry is a great example of someone succeeding in the race to zero emissions. We have electric cars, no emissions whatsoever. We started way back here. We've come all this way. What are we gonna do to get further like the automotive industry has? If you consider where we've been, and in 50 years, we've only eliminated two engines. We've come a long way in reducing fuel consumption over the decades, but that came from engines. And I think it's clear when you look at the aircraft at the bottom, the aircraft itself has not done as much. That shape is what has to change if we're going to win the race to zero. We emit over 900 million tons of carbon dioxide every year to support the air travel system, more than the entire country of Germany. And with air travel expected to double by the year 2040, we're going to emit as much carbon dioxide as Germany, the UK, and South Korea combined. In response to this threat, governments around the world are requiring airlines to start switching to sustainable aviation fuels, or SAF. SAF is greener than regular jet fuel, but it still emits CO2. So the adoption of SAF is a useful milestone in the race to zero. So why haven't planes been able to continue their path of efficiency gains since the 50s and 60s? The typical plane now has half the number of engines, has better materials, refined wing shapes, but step back, take a look again. There's still a tube. Still has the wing bolted on in the middle, still has the tails on the back. This tube and wing design has slowed down progress to incremental gains. From an engineering standpoint, there's simply too much on this tube and wing airframe that adds weight, but doesn't add lift, which means we need to add more material to create that lift. But this added material in turn adds more weight and it creates more drag. Bringing more performance out of the tube and wing airplane is asking the wrong question. We need a new solution. What would an airplane with truly zero emissions look like? Along with NASA, major aerospace industries, universities, research labs, MIT, Stanford, University of Southern California, Georgia Tech, all the Langley, Ames, NASA centers, we've been working this problem to create this new type of aircraft. What if we rethought everything? What if the entire airplane could create lift? That's exactly what we've been asking ourselves for the past three decades. It began with two very dear colleagues, Dr. Robert Liebeck and Mr. Blaine Rodden. Dr. Liebeck, famous aerodynamicist. Mr. Rodden, famous airplane architect. Together, we started thinking about how to make an airplane with much fewer parts, all lifting surfaces. How would we make that work? That led to a long series of great developments. We ultimately built a 17-foot span model that we flew in the Mojave Desert. And that vision has resulted in what I'd like to share with you today. We call it the Jet Zero Blended Wing. The Blended Wing is 50% more efficient. Yes, that's what I said, 50% uses half the fuel, makes half the carbon dioxide compared to a tube and wing aircraft, frankly, even with the same engines. Fuel is the largest line item on an airline's profit and loss statement. A Jet Zero blended wing cuts that line item in half. So that's not just a competitive advantage. In the future, it'll be survival. Unlike the tube and wing, our aircraft has a space needed to accommodate hydrogen fuel tanks. They're larger. Hydrogen has very low density, whereas a tube and wing design just can't accommodate the additional fuel storage of these larger tanks for hydrogen. Tube and wing aircraft, they have their engines under the wings, actually not that high off the ground. The problem with that is that's also where all the ground handling equipment is and the folks operating that equipment. But on the blended wing, we can do something much better. The engines on top of the airplane provides a very significant benefit. Most of the engine noise is reflected upward. 
not down to the community below. That means this airplane will be able to perform 24 seven operations where it was never possible before. Not only do we have a mid-market airplane that can fly with narrow body engines, but these engines exist today, completely off the shelf. We're not just building an airliner, we're building a multi-mission platform. A platform that can best the best in class in every market, airliner, freighter, tanker. And it's going to do so by cutting their fuel burns in half. That's transformational. The US Air Force is interested in this airplane as a tanker. Remarkably, the Jet Zero tanker burns only half the fuel of existing tankers today. Sustainability starts with efficiency. What we've achieved with this blended wing aircraft is a 50% reduction in the energy demands of the airplane. When you combine that with modern SAF fuels and in the future, hydrogen, which this airplane can readily adapt to, this becomes the inevitable future of aviation.